hundred years ago, we fed pigs and chickens on the ground. We discovered, though, that when we processed the diet ingredients, the animals performed better, the farmer made more money, and we had better control over the quality of the final product. Research has shown us that cattle and sheep perform better when we process the forages they're eating by reducing the straw length. The Highline CFR 960, with the chopper option operating, gives us a range of straw length, for the most part, between 10 centimeters and 3 centimeters. This length approximates the width of the mouth of the animal, which encourages intake. But by feeding on the ground, we give up some of the benefit of processing through lost particles and the consumption of small stones and dirt. And so we recommend the use of troughs and bunks to hold the feed. As we gain further control of the feeding process, applied research will see the addition of low inclusion ingredients to improve animal performance and strengthen profitability. The addition of a grain tank allows grain to be inserted into the swath to prevent sorting and allows scarification of the grain to improve digestibility. Recently implemented e-platforms in Australia are showing strong return to investment in segregating the herd through computer controlled raceways to feed only those animals that need additional feed to sustain performance and body condition. This approach has been borrowed from electronic sow feeding stations. More and more, the profit generating technologies that have proven successful for other animal species are being modified to bring similar advantages for beef and sheep. The Highline CFR 960 bale processor is one of these technologies. Now, advances in profitability come by removing randomness from performance and management protocols. And once an animal becomes an individual, precision can be introduced quickly. All this effort and momentum is because the cost of feed continues to rise as a percentage of the cost of production. And efficiencies are possible. The beginning of this process is to capture more of the potential value in forages, particularly in medium and low quality, by reducing the straw length. The Highline 960 with chopper and grain tank can provide a balanced ration for all categories of livestock by adding the appropriate amount of grain to the chopped forage, then mixed in a way which does not allow sorting. The improved digestibility and less waste reduces the total amount of forage needed annually. My estimate indicates a potential return of investment of about 8% without calculating the improved performance. So let's take a look at animal responses to feeding and we see they invariably follow a normal distribution curve. The actual curve for a specific farm will have a unique shape and can tell us quite a bit about how a farm is managed. Management for above the curve gives us better profits over the long run. Now it's understandable that within a herd there are animals with different nutritional needs mixed together that could be fed adequately with less cost if there was a way to do it. While assembling groups by age or production level is an acceptable way to structure management groups on the farm. For cattle, cows are fed differently than replacements which are in turn fed differently than feedlot animals. Similarly, a ewe with triple lambs has different nutritional demands on it than a ewe with a single lamb. Additionally, shortages of feed or, or quality concerns can be addressed by blending grain with straw or hay in a well-formulated ration to meet the needs of the group using Highline's CFR 960. Properly formulated rations give the lowest cost per day for feed and save valuable resources. A scale option can be added to make the additional step of pre-weighing ingredients unnecessary. This has the additional benefit of reducing excretion of excessive levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. When a ration is properly formulated, it represents the lowest amount of each ingredient to feed to get optimal performance. Feeding more is an additional cost. Feeding less represents lower performance, poor growth, with likely reproductive shortfalls. So to close, just a word on cost of production documents. A cost of production sheet can be constructed to represent any aspect of sheep or beef production. This identifies all of the input costs, then shows the profit per animal. This document's available from a link on the Highline website, your local extension office, or possibly your lending institution. There are people who would be happy to help you in completing this form as part of an overall enterprise analysis. 
It allows a producer to examine management decisions on paper with the likely financial outcome before committing to a plan. A cost of production helps in establishing management protocols that lead to profitability. Precision feeding and cost control are the path to profit. Thank you for your time and listening to this talk on applying Highline equipment to the business of precision nutrition. I hope it's been helpful and if you have any questions, you can follow up with the people at this booth.